as students of swami we know how true prayer really moves swami and we know that swami has a way of correcting the students the biggest punishment swami would give to the students was not talk to them and boys the students would do anything to win back swami as it were so there was this one time when swami was very upset with the boys and no amount of pleading could placate swami we had the usual we would hear our swami in the portico and say swami please forgive us and what have we done wrong and swami it went on for 3 days 4 days normally in a couple of days swami would say okay but then this happened for 3 days 4 days and boys were getting dejected they didn't know what was wrong there were bhajans being held even after the mandir bhajans in the hostel so the whole hostel was on an emotional high and this pleading continued for another couple of days and swami would not relent then this particular incident happened it was the evening bhajan time boys had surrounded swami and had pleaded to him swami had said nothing doing you boys are not good i am not going to speak to you and gone into the interview room and the bhajan started swami came as usual and sat in the bhajan hall there is this one brother of ours who just started this bhajan full of emotion filled swami we plead with you forgive us we pray for your love he sang sai prem de and he just paused there for a second believe me i was there sitting on the portico the entire lot of boys was sobbing with that one pause it was at that time when the emotions of all the students had culminated into this prayer and when he said sai prem de they were sobbing the boy himself who was leading was choked but it was a prayer from hundreds of hearts of the students swami heard the bhajan took the aarti came down came to the portico and all the boys who were there he said come all the boys went around surrounded him <laughs> swami said all is well all is fine yes you are forgiven you are all my boys you are my children so that is the power yes it was the collective power of these many students but that one line that moved everybody together 